Hello and welcome back to another Ankeny Van Builds video. My name is Colton and today we're going to be installing some tile into our van and it's going to be real tile, not that sticker, fake foam stuff that you put on the wall. It's going to be legitimate tile. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Hit that like button and let's just jump right into it. So the very first step in installing tile is going to be your prep work. So I've already completed that as you can see here. I have a half inch sheet of plywood and I have multiple studs that I attached it to every about six inches to make sure that is it's extremely sturdy and what you want to avoid is the potential of the vibrations and warping and wobbling with the plywood itself. So this is the base and I added primer to it just to give the adhesive something a little bit stronger to actually adhere to. I've also gone ahead and put painter's tape around the edge, just so when I'm applying the adhesive and the grout, I'm not getting it all over my nice shiplap that I just put in and along the side, along this railing here. Also, I have put down a drop cloth because tiling gets very messy, so this will help protect the floors. So once you have all the prep work done, I'm gonna now go over all of the items that you're gonna need to install this tile in your van. So first things first, we'll start with the adhesive. I have this acrylic or acryl pro. Uh, it's just a spread and set type of adhesive. You could also use a thin set and mortar where you mix in the powder with some water and you stir it up for a couple minutes. But this should be a much simpler system. In order to spread that onto the walls, I have one of these trowels. You gotta make sure you have the right size teeth for the right size uh, tile that you're planning on installing. Next up, obviously you're gonna need your tile. So in this van, I'm gonna have three by six subway tiles. And to cut those, I have one of these, uh, I don't know the official name, I think they're like a scratch and snap type of tool. Then when you're placing your tile, you need these spacers. Uh, the spacers come in all different sizes and styles. Uh, for three by six, I found just these little um, traditional spacers work the best. Then once all your tiles are on the wall and your adhesive has dried, you can remove all those spacers and start grouting. Uh, I use this Fusion Pro. This can be a black grout. This stuff works a little bit better if you get the walls or the tiles a little wet, like uh, moist with a sponge, and then you set it on. Uh, it works really easily. Uh, it does kind of make a bit of a mess. That's why we, we have that drop cloth on the ground. But to spread that stuff on, we have one of these uh, floats is what they're called, a grout float. Um, so that's what we'll use to put that in. So we'll also need a sponge after that. Uh, it's good to use a sponge beforehand to get the, the tiles a little wet. Then once the grout is in and you go to clean it off, wipe it off with a sponge. And then once you get most of it off with a sponge, a microfiber towel to really polish off the rest of the tiles to give it that nice clean and shiny look and something to put your water in uh, you need a bucket so that should be everything that you need for installing this tile so let's just go ahead and start putting them in so one of the last steps that I did before uh, I start putting the adhesive on the wall is I put a board right here that gives a nice straight and level surface to rest these tiles on to start the first row and then we'll build up on top of that.
So now these are all in and now we just wait for the adhesive to start drying. But what I was trying to say earlier uh, is right here I marked the, the center line of this wall that I was tiling. And the goal is to line up the midpoint of every other line right on the center and to keep that consistent throughout the whole wall. Uh, another tip, I don't know if you could tell from the time lapse, is I would lay a set of the adhesive, I would put one row in, then I would put the spacers in, and then uh, before I would cut the pieces on the ends here, I would move all the spaces so they're correct, and then cut the end piece, put that one in, put the spacers on, and then start your next row. So other than that, we sit here, we let it dry, so it has been about an hour and this thin set or uh, adhesive rather is dry now. So I'm ready to take these spacers out and start putting in some of the grout. Before I start putting the grout on the tile itself, I'm gonna get the sponge uh, damp. You don't want to have water running or pooling up anywhere, but you just wanna get the surface of the tiles damp. That way the grout is less uh, sand like and it's more mud consistency if that makes sense that way you can really squeeze it into all the all the gaps and then just be able to wipe it all off you also want to take this time to not only wet the tiles itself but to clean off any of the adhesive or uh, thin set that you might have on the face of them now is a good time to wipe that off before you start throwing the ground up onto it so i also like to only do about three to four rows at a time so i'll get these nice and uh, nice and damp and then put the grout up to there and then repeat that process as I go up. So all the grout work is done and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Uh, it all looks really, really good. Uh, did I mention that this gets messy? All those little droppings from the grout and the sponge and you know, it just makes a huge mess doing this. But at the end of the day, it looks super clean once it's all done. It's nice and shiny. You can kind of see the light reflecting off of it. Now all I'm gonna do is put some trim right here and at the top to finish it off and this job is done and there you have it the trim is in and we are done calling it a day so tile a lot of people say it's really difficult it's really all about having the right tools having the right uh, thought process going into it knowing what you're looking for so i hope this video was helpful for most of you uh, if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.